Good evening, one and all. So, how to make the clocks change for you? This is a real simple one. It's a concept that I came onto uh, a few years ago, and it's, I'd, I'd love to take ownership of it, but it's really not mine. You, instead of when the clocks change, and we all take that opportunity to have that extra hour in bed, well, hell, because you're used to being up at that particular time anyway, you just don't tell your body clock that the time has changed. So because you're used to being up at seven, but seven is now six, so you sneak an extra hour in bed, well, no, just keep getting up, but now it's six o'clock, but now you're getting up. Now, okay, cool, I'm not a morning person. All right, Brill, well, do you know what? I, I, I'm not an athlete, but I keep working out because it's what's good for me. So if it's something that you really want to do, it's a way to get an extra hour in your day. Now, what you then do is, well, because it's dark, you'd rather stay in bed longer, just go to bed a little bit earlier, because there's much as when it's dark in the mornings, it's easy to stay in bed. It's also really easy to get into bed earlier and just get cozy and get wrapped up and maybe read a book before you go to bed because it's just nice. So it's just about tricking your mindset into not believing really that that hour has changed. So you're still getting up and you're attacking your day wholeheartedly and in a way that you should. Try it yourself before it gets too late because if you leave it another couple of days, your body clock's going to adjust to the new time setting um, and you've got no chance of doing it. You're going to go back to being. It's going to be really hard to get up. However, just adjusting those clocks now can make a huge difference for you.